For a long time, my home studio has been missing one super important piece of equipment, speakers. Which is why I combed through the entire internet looking for the best studio monitors for a starter home studio, and I'm going to give you my first impressions and a review of those today. But first, I have to go get them. Now to get the speakers. Okay, so just because I don't want to cause a scene when I actually go inside, I think I'll stop recording now and continue recording after I have the stuff. All right, back out with the loot and spent not a dime. Instead, I spent 550 bucks in gift cards. So thank you to my friends and family for paying for my speakers for me. And I head back home and unbox these bad boys. dandy scissors here. Let's open up the first one and see what's inside. I say that as if either are going to be different. At least I hope not. These are the KRK R KRK Rocket 5 G4s. They are 5 inch monitors. It's a really difficult to open package. These are one of the most commonplace studio monitors you'll see, and if I can get it open, you should recognize them. Okay, so, first box in, we've got another box. Duh! What do people do on boxing videos? This is impossible. Alright. This is the box that they came in. Probably helped if it wasn't upside down. Rocket 5. It's got the signature yellow cone. I did think about getting the larger 8 inch version of these, except for the fact that they wouldn't fit on my desk. Boom! These are really well packaged power cable, that. a little twist tie which I might save because I am in need of some cable management. Pretty standard power cable, put that aside for now. Now for the moment of truth. Don't need that no more. Got a nice foam wrapping on it, so I'm pretty sure that it's going to be in good condition, but let's see. Fake reveal. Ooh. It looks slick. So something about the rockets right away. It's got the port in front, which is a little bit different than what you see on a lot of speakers. And it's got this built-in foam pad at the bottom here too, which is great for sound isolation and saves me from having to buy studio monitor stands and fit them somewhere in here. All right, well, I'm going to unpack the second one. It's gonna be the exact same as the first, so I assume I'm gonna unpack them and let's get some shots of these set up. The KRK Rocket 5 G4 sports a dynamic five inch woofer and a responsive one inch dome tweeter, delivering precision in every note. 
With 55 watts powering the woofer and 30 watts for the tweeter, the studio monitor ensures a balanced and clear sound from 43 Hz to 40 kHz. Its ported enclosure ensures low frequency response, customizable controls for volume, high and low frequencies, and a DSP-driven room tuning feature make it adaptable to any environment. With balanced XLR and TRS inputs, the Rocket 5 G4 is the ultimate choice for your studio setup. Now that they're finally set up, I'd love to see how they sound fresh out of the box without me doing anything to them. And to listen, we're going to use my song, Have a Good Day at Work. Okay, right away I'm noticing that despite how small they are, they're giving me quite a bit of low end. I don't have the volume turned up on these at all, they're at nominal gains. That notification was definitely loud. It's got a nice thumpy bass to it. It's got a really nice top end, so the tweeter is doing its job. There's less mids than I thought there was going to be. It's not bad, it's just not exactly what I was expecting. But it sounds really good. <laughs> like, really, really good. Like, there's so much more definition than I was expecting. I'm surprised that I'm not getting more rattle from my desk, because, like, it's not the sturdiest thing ever, and it's weighed down by a lot, and it's not shaking a ton or anything like that. I also don't have it super, super loud, but even still, it's it's doing a really good job with those pads at the bottom isolating it. Let's see how it handles the loud part. Just fine. All right, well, overall, I gotta say I'm super impressed. These speakers ran me just over 500 bucks and they've got crystal clear clarity in the high ends. They offer a nice low bass, especially considering that they're only five inch speakers. I got quite a bit. If you were to get these for yourself, I'd say just be aware that the bass is boosted on these and when you move it to a different sound system, you're gonna lose a lot of that bass because it's bass boosted, it is super bassy. That being said, for the price point, these KRK Rockets are above and beyond the one of the best speakers you can get as like a home studio. There's a reason you see these everywhere, they're amazing. They sound great, they look great, and they fit on my tiny little desk. So overall, 10 out of 10, would highly recommend. The only thing I might adjust is I might do some EQ shaping and I might do a little bit of volume adjustments to try to fit it to my room a little bit better than it is. But other than that, it's great. So that's it for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked this review, hit the subscribe button and remember to like and comment if there's any other gear that you'd like me to review. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.